uh, it was maybe one of the more opportunistic uh, halves of football that we've played and thought we did a lot of really good things offensively. We were able to run the ball. Uh, we were able to make uh, some good plays. I thought we were blocking well. I thought Noah Hoffman was running the ball really well. Uh, we didn't have to rely on you know trying to just throw the ball down the field. I thought we had a really good uh, plan of momentum going forward there. And I thought defense actually did a really good job. I thought we were stopping the run and uh, we were where we needed to be. I thought guys were flying around and I thought there was just a lot of really good energy and momentum that we had going in our favor. And then Coach, second half now, what, mm -hmm. you know, kind of, I mean, they got points on the board. I think, I think that's, that's, you know, that's the easiest way to say it. Yeah, yeah. So, I, you know, I think the root of probably, um, the issue was, I think we we went into a stretch there where we gave up a touchdown, a couple long pass plays on the same series. They score, we come back offensively, um, we throw the interception, they get it deep down in there, then they score from there. You know, it's it's like three plays right in a row, and all of a sudden they've got 14 more points on the board. On the board, and um, yeah, I think the momentum shift and just the resiliency factor is the best way that I would describe it that we just did not answer and we, we were not um, we were not as resilient as what we needed to be in those adverse times and so uh, we talked all about that uh, with our guys and just showed them specifically when those plays were happening and what needs to be done and how we need to react and respond and you know we just got to make sure that we're continually growing through those uh, learning lessons and situations um, the worst thing that can happen is if we continue to let those beat us and uh, we don't learn and respond accordingly, you know, as we move forward. And so um, yeah, I think the best way to describe it is we just we could not change the momentum to get it back in our favor. We did a good job when we had it. And yet you've always got to expect the team to respond. And uh, they did. And, and we just could not have a counterpunch to that. And I think that's what happened in the second half. And it just, it, it led to uh, a little bit slower steps, a little bit more uh, body language that was, you know, a little more negative and a little bit less optimistic and enthusiastic as it was in the first half. And then before you know it, uh, they do the opposite. You know, they get more excited. They play faster, they play more physical. And then all of a sudden, you know, you just start to see a gap and, you know, before too long, there's a couple plays that happen and, you know, the score gets a little bit too far out of hand again. And uh, it's disappointing to see that because I think it was a game that was very realistic for us and very uh, much in favor of us doing a lot of good things. And so we've got to be able to keep the good things going. We've got to be able to learn and uh, improve on the weaknesses and the, the things that we didn't do so well. And again, we've got another week ahead here to where we can put that into play and hopefully it can be a, a better outcome. And then coach, speaking on that week ahead, Saginaw Valley State, your thoughts on, on the matchup and you know going into that one? Yeah, I think Saginaw is, uh, I think they're very athletic. I think they're an extremely dangerous team. I think they play uh, well against their competition. And you know, you've seen them play some close games. You've seen them play uh, some games where you think may, maybe, you, you know, the score's a little bit more than what it is. And I think, they're going to be a good team, and yet I think there's still opportunity there. Um, you look at them and Wayne State, they matched up pretty uh, e evenly, you know, in terms of their game that they played against each other, and obviously this past weekend against Davenport. And, um, you know, I, I would like to think that our team is growing and building and climbing here every week, and, you know, hopefully we can go and do something that we haven't done yet in terms of putting a full four-quarter game together in someone else's stadium, on the road, um, you know, and, and we look at it as, hey, it's another opportunity for us to show that we can be a better football team than we were the week before.